Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Yeah. Going good? Yeah? So nice to see all of your smiling faces this morning. I, can I be honest with you? I had a dream last night where I slept in till 10.30 and I woke up and I thought it was real and I was like, oh, I've missed seeing all the Hope Discovery kids. And I was so, so scared. And then my mum was like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm late for church. And they're like, oh, no, no, you've got heaps of time. So here we are and we're on time. And I'm so glad that I'm here because I was very much looking forward to seeing you all. Quick question, real quick question. Have any of you ever felt like you wanted to do something, but you just found it really, really difficult? Yeah? yeah? Like you're trying to do something. It could be anything, but you're doing it by yourself. And so it's like, oh, it's, it's kind of difficult. You have to find new ways of doing things. You've got to like figure out, you know, how does this work? How does this work? Maybe you have to learn a new skill. Has any of you ever felt like that? Yeah, there's some hands going up. There's some hands going up. So in this series, we're learning about siblings in the Bible. I heard that last week you talked about Cain and Abel. Was that good? Was that good? Did we enjoy? (laughs) Today we're talking about Moses and Aaron. So the thing about Moses and Aaron is they're siblings, right? They're siblings with two very different talents, And so when I ask you that question, have you ever tried to do something by yourself but found it difficult? Well, have you ever thought that maybe if you brought someone else in with you, maybe a sibling, maybe a friend, it might be a bit easier? Hmm, I don't know. Let's let's talk about it. So we watched that clip, the story of Moses and Aaron. You can read this in your Bibles from chapter 6 roughly to chapter 7 in Exodus. And it says that God chose Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, right? Do we remember watching that in the clip? He was standing in, the burning, in front of the burning bush and God's telling him what he has to do. Well, it's interesting because we can read in the Bible that Moses actually tried to convince God to send someone else. He was like, no, God, I, I can't do it. I can't. He was like, I'm too nervous. He's like, they're not going to listen to me. He, he's like, I, I have a stutter. He's saying all of these things and he's saying, God, I, I can't do it. Send, can you just send someone else? And God was like, Mm-mm, no, no, no. I know you can't do it by yourself. So I'm going to give you Aaron, your brother. He's going to help you. And you might be like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> What's so cool about Aaron? Why is Aaron helpful? Does anyone know? Can anyone remember? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good speaker. So Moses, he was hearing from God and he had the knowledge, but he didn't, he's not a very good speaker. But Aaron was trusting and he was a good speaker. Does that kind of make sense? So Aaron came along to be a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece is someone who, who speaks what God is saying. That's what a mouthpiece is. So Moses would tell Aaron what God had said. And then Aaron would speak to the people and to Pharaoh. That's what we learn in this Bible story. So together, they go to Egypt, they go to Pharaoh, and they say, you know, all of these things, and they're talking, they're talking, and God is saying, let my people go. And we remember seeing how Pharaoh was like, "Mm, no, I'm saying no, because his heart was too hard. So, you know, God sends all of these things. He sends these plagues and, and, you know, and we saw how there was darkness over the land, heaps of things. All of that is Moses is there. God is talking to him. And then Moses goes, hey, Aaron, this is what God is saying. And then Aaron's over here and he's talking and he's saying all these things and Pharaoh is listening and the people, the Israelites are watching. So it's interesting because even though there's all of these things that are happening, Pharaoh doesn't budge and not for a long time. But Moses and Aaron, they don't give up. They keep going. They keep trying because they trust. No, we have to work together because God said we are going to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. And eventually, Pharaoh lets the Israelites go. Isn't that a pretty cool story? I think that's a cool story. It's a bit dramatic, though, at the same time. Can I tell you a story about something similar? Can I? Yeah? Okay. So I come from a family of nine children, ten children. I've got nine siblings, so I have a lot of siblings. I've got three older brothers, and then I've got two younger brothers and four younger sisters. Is that good? I can't tell if that's right or not. Thank you, Meg. Oh, and I have a niece now too, which is exciting. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. Meg is my sister. Um, anyway, anyway, so what am I telling you here? I have a picture. Can I have that picture up there, please? This is of me and my brother, Seth. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, we were going to a youth night. We had to dress up as hipsters. So me and my brother Seth, thank you, Jonathan, we are pretty good friends. I'd say we're pretty good friends. We get along really well. He's a year younger than me, so it works nicely. I really love writing. I really love writing. I like writing cards. I like writing songs. I do a lot of writing. Seth is really good at noticing people and what people like. So he can be really good at gifts. Oh, if your birthday's coming up, you need to introduce yourself to Seth because he's good at gifts. Anyway, oh, I thought the, fo- thought the photo was still up there. Okay, me and my brother, one of our friends recently got really sick and they were really unwell and me and Seth were like, oh, we should do something. But we didn't talk to each other about this. We were both just thinking we should do something. And I was like, what can I do? Like, oh, I could write them a card, but I feel like that's not enough. And then Seth comes to me and goes, hey, Bronte, I was thinking about a friend who's kind of unwell. Could you drive me? Because he didn't have his license yet. Can, can you drive me and, and we'll go get him some gifts? I was like, oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. So we went to Kmart. Seth picked out all of these amazing gifts. And then we came home and I wrote the card. See how we worked together to figure that out? And then we took, and my mum made soup, which was really cool as well, and we went and delivered these things to the friend. And I was thinking about it, and you might be like, that's such a little thing. That's not as big as, you know, Moses and Aaron leading the Israelites out of Egypt. You know, it's a very little thing, but it made a big impact on that person because they were going through something that was kind of hard, weren't they? And just that little thing of me being able to write the card and Seth knowing what they really liked and then my mum making some soup so they would feel better, all coming together, it made a big impact for them. I thought that was pretty cool. So what can we learn from the story of Moses and Aaron and me and my brother Seth? Well, God made us all different, didn't he? He made us all very unique. Yet we are designed to work together. We work together. Because we have different strengths. Remember, Moses, not a good speaker, but he could hear what God was saying. Aaron, well, I'm sure he might have been able to hear what God was saying, but he had to trust Moses and he was a really good speaker. See how they work so well together? So they're working together. They were able to do God's plan. Another thing that we can learn is that God's plan, they're always going to happen. God's plan will always happen. Even when we feel like unsure, or maybe we feel scared, God's plan, he will give us what we need to do whatever it is that he needs us to do. How cool is that? We don't have to do anything by ourselves. That's why siblings and friends can be so important because who better to help you with things than people that you do life with every single day, you know? All right, this week I got a challenge. This is my challenge. Are you all ready for this? This This is a challenge. My challenge is I want you to think about yourself What am I good at? What do I enjoy doing? What are you talented at? And then I want you to think about what is one of your siblings or friends good at? Is it different to what you're good at? Can you join together to do something nice? Maybe one of you is good at organizing and one of you is good at coming up with ideas. Could you come together to make their idea come to life? Could you do something nice for someone else? Like how me and my brother, we made the gift for our friend. I want you to have a think about that. Can we do that this week? Yeah? I am very excited to talk to you all next week and find out what it was that you were able to come together and do.